Episode of We Am Era, continuing with our well double feature of Warhammer games. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Warhammer Vermintide, literally a uh, Left 4 Dead clone disguised in uh, Warhammer clothing. Which isn't a bad thing, though. Not at all. Why to be honest, there's a lot of stuff that blatantly the rips off from uh, Left 4 Dead, which is just weird because, as far as I know, the guys that made Left 4 Dead doesn't have anything to do with this, but. Anyway, one thing I can definitely say about this game though is, wow, it's pretty. It's one hell of a pretty game. And it plays pretty much like Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I can even see that at all. It looks like Left 4 Dead. Pretty much. <laughs> you get the same types of uh, healing stuff, you get yeah. bombs, you get uh, all those types of shit. Uh, hordes uh, just appearing, uh, tanks, uh, hunters. Uh, <laughs> the 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 smokers, all that shit. Yeah, really. It's in here. Yeah, no, it's in here. But basically, you just uh, you play as imperial soldiers or imperial professionals, and uh, basically just killing rats <laughs> or skaven, as us Warhammer players like to call them. So, what type of weapons do you use? Well, you have uh, five different classes to choose from, depending on uh, which one you do choose. Is depending on uh, depends on what weapons you uh, ex eventually get. For instance, I'm playing the fire mage here, or uh, no bright mage, I think they are specifically called, which is the fire mage, which has a a wand and a sword. You get the imperial soldier, which is the guy just left to my portrait. Uh, he has a war hammer and shield and what board and sword. Uh, the uh, elf next to him has a bow and arrow and dual blades. And the dwarf next to her has sword and board. Do you actually pick up different types of weapons? Not uh, during your play, but you do get uh, rewards at the end of your uh, at the end of the, the missions, uh, depending on what difficulty you played on. Uh, depends on how, uh, eventually di dictates how many uh, rewards or how how good the rewards are you get at the end of the game. But it's kind of shitty done because it's basically dice rolling at the end of the, every 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 match. Uh, to actually see if you actually win something, and I've not gotten anything other than common items thus far. But you do do get level up. Your characters level up. They uh, they get more uh, better equipment, better stuff like that, just through leveling up, not necessarily just by. Uh, so it does not level RPG. A slight bit, but not so much. I mean, the leveling up is on each and every one of your characters. So what you want to oh. do is, as a player, you know, play with a single character yeah. and just level him up. Which is kind of a bad way to do it because you kind of want to have your players uh, play everything, yeah. you know, not not have to play the same thing every yeah. time. Otherwise, you're going to have like uh, four level ten bright wizards in one team. No, oh, I guess you can just play level up all of them and just play more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just 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 be that sad. Yeah. I don't think the game is fun. Definitely. What I'm going to say is, uh, I haven't played. I I didn't play with anybody else, considering the the, the servers are are really terrible and people don't want me to play with them. So <laughs> is that the server's fault? Or is that your fault? They have passwords. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you can actually host your own. It's very well done uh, the way I you actually matchmaking and creating stuff. a server and they're like just just put a password just in case Chris people wants to join. Yeah, no, they're a bunch of assholes. Yeah. They're a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, the, the matchmaking is very well done. You actually start in this tavern type of thing, and it just uh, automatically starts looking for games and tells you uh, this game's open or this one's not, or it starts uh, asking other players to join yours. So that's rather well done, and uh, you know, obviously it's Steam, so you can invite friends and shit like that. So there's like a what's that tower defense again? Was that was that the tavern where you start? Oh yeah, uh, Dungeon Defenders. Yeah. Is that the name? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We also have the the tavern thing. So this game actually does take that from uh, Dungeon Defenders. Well, I'm assuming that there's other games probably. Yeah, but no, probably. 
So this game also has a lot of violence, as you can see. Uh, whenever you play as, say, the Imperial Soldier and you have your Warhammer in your hand, it's just blood and guts the whole time in your face. This game is gloriously bloody. Unfortunately, I am playing the, the Ember Mage, so you're not going to see that much <laughs> carnage apart from rats catching on fire. Healing game difficult? Definitely. This game is very, very hard. I can see that uh, if you, if, it's it's the same, same as what, uh, uh, the same as uh, Left 4 Dead. Mm. If uh, you don't play the game correctly, you're gonna get fucked in the ass constantly. Uh, if you if you play with the AI, that's especially true. Yeah. So this one I just recorded with the AI playing. Uh, so you get those Gatling gunners, which are just fucking assholes. So it uses a lot of the Warhammer stuff. Like a really, it doesn't stray from that at all, uh, which is awesome. But uh, they literally just took that and said, "Let's left for dead." Yeah. Which is awesome. I mean, the Skaven, if anything, is just an yeah. un undying horde of uh, of uh, rats. How many? How many levels are there? There's about four or five different levels. Uh, also, like. It's not chaptered like uh, like Left 4 Dead. If I'm gonna say there's anything bad with this game, is definitely the quantity of stuff you get is uh, very limited, very limited indeed. Uh, I purchased the collector's edition or something, which has the additional character with it, the Witch Hunter, which is very sad that there's just five classes. What I'm gonna say is this game is definitely not worth a full purchase. If you pay pay full price for this game, I might not recommend that. Uh, I mean, wait full for a price sale. is still pretty cheap. It's still pretty expensive for a game that's literally just multiplayer. I mean, Left 4 Dead you can pick up for 50 bucks any side of any sale. So, uh, this game is still 300 bucks if you get it on sale. Yeah. Well, it's a bit newer than Left 4 Dead. No, no, obviously. Uh, like I said, this game looks fucking good. You might not see it that well on the 720p recording I made, but uh, it's very fucking good. But... Plus, this is a sewer level, so you're not going to see that much... Uh, detail in the cities. Yeah. So recently I watched uh, <laughs> Hardcore Henry yeah. and uh, I, I the first thing I told you was uh, Left 4 Dead for the win because the whole ending was basically mm -hmm. Left 4 Dead which is brilliant. Uh, but but did you have any ambition to actually see this film at any point? I, I think it's gonna make me feel queasy. Yeah. No, 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 so I can like get that. Sickness. I can say that uh, one of my biggest regrets in life now is that I didn't see Hardcore Henry in the IMAX. Yeah. Because, wow. Uh, and, and, and what I'm going to say about the film is uh, if you are one of the people that get very easily motion sick, you're going to get motion sick. Yeah, no, I know about a few people who said that. No, no, it does do that. But it does it actually very well for me. It, it, it doesn't... Uh, I've seen war movies with more shaky fucking camera yeah. than this has, <laughs> which is literally a camera mounted on a guy's head. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff you'll see actually that does perhaps uh, look quite insane, but uh, the movie in general, it's incredibly good. I, I, I'm going to say like they, they took a gamble with making the film in the first oh, place, yeah. and uh, it might not pay off for 50% of their audience. Yeah. But the other 50% which are just going to watch this and just be like, wow, this is like so impressive how they did this. Yeah. Uh, which is just awesome. And the whole film, it's literally like, it feels like a video game. Like yeah. the whole time you play or, or, or watch the film, you feel like you're playing a video game. It's like, oh, this is the objectives for your mission. Do your mission. Like they, every time he gets like a new place to go to, it comes on his phone. And it's like, there's like a place. Got to go there. Go there and do this at this place. And that's about that. Yeah. That's that's the amount of motivation the character needs in the film, which is just so beautiful. It's just such a simple film. It doesn't fuck about with, uh, well, plot. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's an action movie. Totally. Yeah. Like I say, the, 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 the first person view is going to nauseate a lot of people. And uh, even I, uh, at a few points, was like, that's a rat's arm fucking out completely on the wall there. <laughs> that was brilliant. I missed it now. But yeah, like I said, uh, highly recommend the film uh, Hardcore Henry. Uh, very sad that I didn't see that in the IMAX. Very sad indeed. If, it, if it's still playing in, I don't know, Singapore or, or, or Malaysia. Man, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking saw it before us. 
problem. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know any of the, <laughs> of the details of Singapore uh, uh, movie biz. Yeah. So I'm not going to go into that at <laughs> all. But I just mean like there's probably some country somewhere that yeah. still has this. I think Japan, IMAX. they get the movies like way, way later than everybody else, isn't it? So if you're Japanese, you live in Japan, and you and you rather enjoy uh, first-person action shooters, <laughs> yeah. and you f you're not easily <laughs> nauseated by movement. <laughs> I'm actually not that. I don't really suffer a lot from motion sickness, but I just oh, I'm gonna give a movie a try. Definitely. I fucking love that movie. I was just scared to watch it in the IMAX because I don't want to pay that much money and then not enjoy it. You know. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I want to say the same about Warcraft, but uh, at least it gave me something to say. Like talk about. Warcraft was okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I can talk <laughs> about with the Warcraft film. I think I can use it as a very good example of uh, fans not even knowing what the fuck they want. That's that's my personal opinion on that film. We'll get more into that when I make the Warcraft video. That's what we're going to talk yeah. about. The film and the game. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, joining us in an e another episode or double bill of uh, Warhammer. My name is Bean Crispy. Join us always. Omega. There it is. Enjoy your day. Lekker.